Tanya, you didn't push your cookie in the sand now. This same heifer that pranked you, time my stuff, oh, I peed in your drink. You sitting up here sharing cocktails with this heifer at the pool. Oh, Tonya, I'm so done with you. I am so done with you. How do you go from I'm finna wear her out, I'm finna beat her down to the white meat, to oh, I don't want to talk to you, I don't want to deal with you. Now, all of a sudden, you sitting at the pool serving cocktails with... Oh, y'all some little fake-ass people on this show. I cannot and will not. Ain't no way, no hell. I'ma sit up here and be with no helper that sought him and pretended like she pissed at my drink, had me on video about the swing on her to get me get me caught up in some charges because I whooped her ass for playing a prank on me. Now I'm sitting at the pool having drinks with her. Hey, how you doing? Are you serious, Tanya? Tanya, I am so done with you. I am so done with you. I am so done with you. You about as fake as Tanya. I mean, you about as fake as Tara and Mika. I am so done with you. Oh, Tanya, y'all gave you a chance. Your ass gonna jump out there on that tree, regardless of what happened again. Y'all didn't make it the first time, or I guess the second time supposed to be even more sweeter. You know what? I ain't going to need much talk about it if he got a girlfriend or not, which I heard, which he confirmed. You know what? If you go back with him a second time and he your ass, whatever happened, I hope you nothing but hell. Because now you fucking up that man relationship. So I wish you nothing but hell. If you go back to that man, your ex this second time around, I hope it falls for you again and you fall on your face. Oh, so Todd and, um... It been a week. I got lost brain syndrome from these helpers. I was glad to have four thought with them. So Todd, so Christy and Todd getting long all of a sudden again, kissing. She looking kind of good in her confession. I got her hair all wrapped up. Mm, yeah. Y'all fighting over weight loss, I guess, but now y'all getting along all of a sudden. I wonder why y'all getting along so well. You finally gave him some sets or something. Cause y'all just say y'all haven't been getting along for weeks now. You say your words, not my words, your words. So now y'all, good morning, husband. Mm -hmm. Oh, now y'all kissing it. Mm -hmm. Are y'all putting on for the cameras again? But y'all really having problems in the background. Cause I don't know which one rather to ignore y'all or just let y'all play and just don't pay y'all asses no attention no more. Because I think y'all been had problems. Y'all just decided now to play out these problems on TV. Because basically, Terry don't want you around her or around her house or anything involving her events. You basically ain't got no storyline. If it wasn't for Mika and her rude ass and her rude ass comments, you basically wouldn't have no storyline this season if it went for Todd and y'all problems. So, I guess I got to thank Mika now, the devil bitch, Tara devil friend. So, I got to thank her now for at least giving you somewhat of a storyline, the little piece she did hand you. Minus you trying to lose weight and y'all bickering and arguing over that. Okay, Chris, so we got to find you something to do. We got to find you something something else better to do. Because you and this weight loss thing, it's only good for a couple of episodes, not the rest of this season. So we're going to have to find you something to do, Chrissy. Hell, fight Mika again. At least that was entertaining. Even though she is a pain in the ass. Hell, at least that was entertaining. Wow, Todd. Just wow. The woman ain't even much on the table yet and got cut yet. And you already talking about wrapping your arms around her. Really, Todd? You're no skinny bitty yourself. Why you sitting up there talking about her and wrapping your arms around her? I like to see her wrap up. You know what, Todd? You about worse than me and her fat jokes. Cut it out. That's your damn wife. If I was her, I would have had a knife at your forehead by now. You lucky she took that nicely, cause you know she would have swung on you like she attempted to do Mika with that damn donut or whatever that that was a cream puff that was putting all putting all over each other face. So now they seeing what Mika about, and I'm guessing Jasmine still being vocal about vocal about that she don't like Mika being around. 
but I don't see y'all helpers bending together to um stop Tara for bringing her around. I done told y'all how to terminate Mikalaz. Ben took care of them. Tell Tara, don't bring your stupid friend around us no more. If you bring her around, we just gonna leave you with your friend, and we gonna do, and we gonna go do whatever the hell what we wanna go do, and we just gonna leave you there with your friend. I didn't told y'all how to do that. If y'all wanna get rid of that pest, the best way y'all can get rid of her if y'all band together and go see the head bitch in charge. Where the head devil in charge? I ain't gonna get where the head bitch. That's too much of a compliment for Tara in my eyes. That's too much of a compliment. Go see the devil, tell the devil, we don't want Mika around, if you keep bragging Mika around, we gonna punish you by not hanging with you no more, cause we don't want this hell for around us, cause we don't know which way the wind gonna blow, and what way she gonna act, if she gonna play nice, if she might talk about somebody away, if she might wanna throw food in people's faces, that's all y'all got to do, all y'all got to do is just bend together for one moment. Come together, even if you can't stand each other. All y'all come together and stand up in front of the devil and tell her don't bring her friend around her. Let her hang with her by herself. Y'all ain't got to hang around somebody. Y'all don't got to. Y'all ain't got to hang around somebody just cause she keep bringing them around. But if y'all don't say nothing, she won't know how y'all feel, and she won't stop bringing that said person around. I'm done letting Mika upset me. I'm going to let y'all handle her. And I'm going to see how long y'all going to put up with her before y'all either stump her on the ground or cuss Tara the fuck out for bringing her around or y'all going to punish Tara for always wanting her around when y'all do activities. The choice is y'all. She ain't going to upset me no more. And I ain't giving her the satisfaction. Not here she won't. Hi. Now, see, I'm getting too much involved in Terror Live. But correct me if I'm wrong, though. I feel sorry for your daughter or whatever. I wouldn't wish that on even child, even you either, devil. But I notice you're doing a lot of work on a lot of companies, a lot of wine. You were saying you was coming out with something else. I completely forgot. I probably didn't care enough. But shouldn't you be working on your daughter besides doing all these companies and business and investing in and in this black girl Moscato bullshit? Shouldn't your daughter be your number one concern? Like Terry, you slipping again. Just like the whole dancing with the stars th dancing with the stars thing where you out killed yourself on them. Here you go again, the here you go again, missing home, worrying about all these companies and stuff you invent. Terry, I can't with you. I can't. That shows you right there you ain't no good. How you missing home going working on company and doing all this investment and stuff? Tara, I got no words for you and I'm not fit to get into you about it. If you like it, I love it, I guess. I feel sorry for the little girl. And clearly you ain't trying to get her no help, clearly. Poor thing, you got the girl up there by a list, got by a little leash there acting like she, you know what, I ain't gonna even must say that, I'm just gonna pass. Terry, you wrong for that. Worry about the companies later. Focus on home your daughter first. That's what you do. Oh, so now she ready for the surgery. Now she ready to get skinny. You had options options before. Hell, Tanya was gonna be your little surgery buddy with you. You sure left um you sure left Tanya hanging. Oh now you ready. You know what, Chrissy? I ain't gonna need much bash you because I barely know you. I only heard of you. I kinda like you and your messy ass so I, if you go on here with the surgery and you come out looking beautiful, I congratulations. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the table now. I hope this really worked out for you. I just hope you and your husband can survive this surgery. Because y'all, God knows y'all arguing over weight loss now. I can only imagine if you happen to lose more weight than him, then he going to get them same feelings on his sleeve again and start with the little shitty jokes again. So I can only hope that he start to lose weight with you. And you don't get skinny before he do, because your God knows y'all already arguing where well, he already had the surgery. 
it wasn't that successful for him. Now you doing it. So if you end up losing more weight than him, y'all going to be arguing again about weight loss again. Why do I got a feeling that's coming up around somewhere? Because y'all going to do it. Because y'all argue, argue over the stupidest things ever. But okay. You know what I always notice about these reality shows doing these surgeries? These, you know, I want to lose weight type of surgeries. Knowing damn well they was big and now they're going to come out small. And they got that little flabby fat hanging. And how much that's going to cause you. Plus the surgery or the gastric sleeve or the, um, what's the other one fucking called? The gastric sleeve. The um, tummy tuck, all them other surgeries. I wonder, because you want to see half of it, like they just showed us going into her stomach, cutting out the stomach out. I get to to help her lose weight. Do you ever wonder if she ever get the, um, get the skin cut down too, for she won't have no flabbing skin? Then lost all that weight. Then you got that little skin hanging down. And you know if you don't get that cut right away, it turns black and it be dead skin, making it look ten times more nasty. And you don't know why you went and got this surgery done, knowing damn well you can't pay to have that skin pulled back or cut off. But you won't be walking around here with black skin. That you didn't went got that you didn't went and got your surgery calling yourself looking good. And then that just hanging there like I won't even much waste my time getting the surgery. I got to worry about the skin still. They're like, that's just a waste of, if I can't pay to get the skin cut back or pulled back however happened, I'm not going to waste my time getting no surgery. Because that would be stupid of me just to get the the actual surgery, knowing I'm big and knowing that skin going to be hanging, knowing that stuff going to turn black, and knowing if I pull off my shirt, you're going to tell I was maybe 500 pounds once upon a time. Now I'm skinny, but you still see the remnants of that, that skin hanging. Uh -uh. If I can't do both, I'm not doing one. I don't know why people be going under the knife so quick, knowing they ain't got the money to cut that off. But I couldn't do it. If I ain't got the money for both, I'm not gonna do. No, I'm not gonna do one of them. I'm not gonna do one and not do the second one. And I'm working out. Good luck with that because the skin, unless you work out hard enough to pull that skin back, for you ain't got to have the surgery. Okay, fine. But think of the people that want to do that to get to go to the gym or whatever, like Tanya doing. Um, it's a win loss loss for me. Yes, you win if I get in the surgery, but that skin, that's a dead reminder of what you was and how you didn't have enough money to get that taken off. I couldn't. So, the bitch, not the main bitch, the other bitch. Decided she want to bring all the girls to up, uh, all the girls together, including the one she um fuck with and slocking, so vlogging, so vain, wherever the hell they was at. So now she want to get them all together again. I guess what she can intimidate them, bully them, do what she do best, piss somebody off. So now she going again, setting up an event where she can upset somebody, tear her so-called friends. But yeah, okay. And I can tell from the previews, this is not going to be good. But okay, like I said, y'all being against Tara, y'all to get rid of the devil. Y'all sit there and let her upset y'all. She not going to upset me. I didn't say it, and I'm going to say it again. Here she go already. The girls ain't need much there. It's just her and Tara, the known team. And Tara telling her, don't nobody want to be involved with those names you coming up with. Come up with something else. You know what we go through. You know the names they call us. Now, why would you think that would be cute for a baseball team or a kickball team, whatever the hell they doing? You see what I mean by she had little jabs? She ain't even much around the girls yet, but yet she already starting shit. And Tara allow her to start the shit. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mika, fuck with them. Keep right on fucking with them. If they dumb enough to let you keep on coming around, keep on fucking with them. That's the way I see it this day forward. 
and they allow you to and Mika oh well Mika. And Tara keep on bragging you around and they keep on letting you come around. Don't matter how many times you apologize to them. Keep on fucking with them then, Mika. Eventually, they all learn to keep your ass away from them. Until then, they ain't learned their lesson. Keep on fucking with them, I guess, Mika. Because I guess ain't none of them smart enough to say, quit bringing her around us. We don't want her around us. So keep on messing with them then, Mika. And that is why I don't fuck with you neither, Tara. So, your soul, your interrogate, your interrogate, 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 I can't even say it right, interrogate, whatever the fuck, all that goes out of the, out of the window just as long as you get in the check. So that's how we feel, Tara. That's how we really feel. If I give you a million dollars, I can call you every name that they call a the little person, and you won't be offended. You won't try to swing at me. You won't hit me with a bat. You won't try to stab me. Nothing like that. Oh, you just like her. No wonder y'all. Mm -hmm. I always wonder what y'all have in common. That just said a whole lot of me. A whole lot to me. She willing to do whatever she can to get on this show. You willing to help her get on this show. Even by it means fucking with your friends or your so-called friends. You willing to let her get on this show just to mess with these people like this. Because you know she takes stuff too far. And you willing to go along with it. And you also willing to throw your conscience out the window just as long as you get the bitch check behind. Oh, okay. I see why y'all are the bestest friends. It make perfect sense now. Go on here, Terry. That's your boy. If you like it, I love it too, I guess. Wouldn't be me. Because if somebody tried to throw me a check to let me call me that name, I'll punch him in the face, cuss him out, and call, him, and call they memory a name. But that's just me. I don't know about you. You wouldn't throw your soul to the devil just for a big check. So there's a difference. There's a difference between me and you. Me, I have a conscience. I have a soul. I have integrity. Apparently, you don't. So, <sighs> like I said, there's a special place in here for the both of you. For the both of you. I want y'all to enjoy y'all both of y'all here, y'all in, cause that place y'all going to it. And Tara, you know better than she is. Oh, Tara, shut up like you got a heart all of a sudden. You said you were willing to throw your whole life being, your whole feelings, your whole self-esteem. You were willing to throw all that out of a window for a check. Let somebody sit there and call you every damn name they can think of of you being a little person. So shut up. I don't want to hear you having a conscience all of a sudden. I don't want to hear you, devil. You still, you, you, you and your little friend back there, Mika, you shut up. Talking about all of a sudden, I don't want you, I don't want y'all to use you or none of that stuff. And I feel bad for the other woman. Really now. But you don't feel bad taking a check for somebody. Girl, pick your, pick a corner, Tara, any corner. Pick a corner. Stop moving from corner to corner. Pick one. You just as flip flop like some witch, like some um, like some witch, windshield wipers. You flip flop and turned it and crisscross. And girl, shut up! Don't act like you got a conscience all of a sudden, cause you just told us just a few minutes ago that you willing to do anything for a chick. So shut up! Don't act like you feel sorry for somebody, cause she really don't. I don't want to hear that shit, Tara. Go away. So. They at the um baseball field. They picking their players. Tara reveal her name. Of course, Mika revealed her gnome riders. Of course, Jasmine got an opinion. Now we fit to fight about was this a joke? Was this a prank? Was this supposed to be funny? Um, Miss Bit said, "No, I like this name. I thought it'd be a cool name." Um, Tara Malpiece, her husband, he had an opinion. He said he thought it was offensive. Mika still don't see where they coming from, but Tara Malpiece has spoken. So now, you know, if y'all like I love her too, y'all keep on letting her around the fuck with y'all. I'ma sit here and review it. And I'ma sit here and laugh at y'all for letting her still do, for letting her still aggravate y'all like that. 
I know that's right, um, Chris. That you are the commission anyways. You just had your surgery at Norhaz. You already don't like Tara anyway, so this should give you means and opportunity to confront to confront Tara and tell her don't bring that bitch around me again. That what you need to do. Y'all need to be in the gather. Or not, whatever. Like I said, she then found every way she can possible to pick at all y'all or a few of y'all or four of y'all or two of y'all at the same damn time with one little stunt. And she gonna continue to do it. And I'ma sit here and watch. So let me know when y'all get bored and tired of her. Cause look like ain't no stopping for her. And not terror the bitch out here defending her. So y'all enjoy. I want you to. Well, he didn't technically run after you. He just happened to move over to the side and then hit you in your face. Technically, your shoulder is not your face. So what are you bitching about again, Miss Delva? Miss Head Delva? Cause he ain't really hit you in your face. So we being serious here. It was your shoulder. It was about this area right here. Now if your face down here, different story. That man hit you in your shoulder. You just want to cause a scene. And the talk to Mika, you know what? Tara, stop being emotional and grow up. Oh, so Chrissy and Jasmine go confront you on more of this whole gnome idea you had for kickball. You call them insensitive. They need to stop taking stuff the wrong way. You like gnomes. You thought the outfit would be good. You even had the nerve to try to dress Christy up as a gnome. You thought that was going to be a good idea. They keep on forgiving you, letting you around. I still keep on saying this because it's true. This heifer do not have a conscience. She don't give a damn about none of y'all. She using y'all for her little sick little game to get on this show. All of y'all are falling for it. The more I said, the more I'm tired of hearing it. The more y'all let her bother y'all, the more she gonna continue to fuck with y'all. You absolutely right, Jasmine. She did have a, um, she did come in this with a game and an end game. With that gnome idea. I don't give a damn if she like gnome's mammies. She had an idea with this whole gnome thing. And I don't care how she tried to twist it. She had a fucking idea. I don't trust her as far as I can throw her. And I will try to pick her up to throw her. Because I wouldn't want that demon nowhere near me. But if I had some gloves on to decide to throw her ass. I might throw her in the trash. But otherwise though... Yeah, y'all just gonna have to have fun with that with no y'all long calls. She gonna... <laughs> y'all have fun with her now. Like I said, my hands are done with her. I done been washed off my hands. Ho, 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 ho. ho the, you know what, Mika? You ain't shit. I always notice when you get confronted over your shit you do, your little devilish, evil ways you do. You either get mad argue bad, say something smart, or you try to hit them on the slide. Just like you did with Christy, when Christy Christ confronted your ass, your next best idea was to throw the cream puff in her face. I guess to shut her up and get her off your back, that's the best way you know how to handle yourself is by throwing stuff in people's face. Now tonight, Jasmine will get in your ass whatever you decide to pick up until like you throw it at her, but it went beside them. And Christy then, I mean, Jasmine warned your ass, look, I'm not the one. Don't play with me. Because me and you will go at it, and it won't be over no food. And we won't be throwing no food over each other's faces like you and Christy did. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'm telling you, somebody gonna get you just yet, Mika. I ain't gonna say before this season end, you ain't gonna, somebody gonna box you. Somebody gonna get you sooner rather than later. You keep on doing your little antics, then when somebody confronts you, you call yourself throw a fit, then you wanna call yourself hit them or act like you gonna hit them, cause I guess you mad cause they confronting you. How old, I wonder how old she is, cause she do some childish shit. I, she do some childish ass things now. When somebody confronting you, it's best to sit there and listen or pretend like you listening. 
not react and throw something in their face or like you're going to throw something at them. What the hell is wrong with you? Somebody is going to beat you up and then going to sue your ass. That's what's going to happen. Mika, you is too much. You you really are too much. You too much for this show. Somebody going to get you, and I'm waiting for that day. Somebody going to get you and going to shake you. Anywho, Mika, you keep on doing what you're doing. Somebody either going to put their hands on you and choke you out. Tara, I don't want you to hear, I don't want to hear you defending this bitch because she get what she deserve at this point. I'm tired of her and her antics. Jasmine says she tired of them, but yet she won't confront the person that keep bragging her around. I'm done. I'm through. Y'all keep on enjoying me because I'm going to sit here and talk about her ass as much as I please. Y'all enjoy y'all night. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.